I'm not sure if I zoned out, but did we actually answer the question, what is the difference between QA and testing? No, we didn't. <laughs> we kind of meandered off. So the difference between QA and testing fundamentally isn't much because ultimately all of it is in the service of testing your game. But the role of QA can change a lot depending on the company and the team size. So if you're a team of two or three people at a startup company, everyone's really testing um, everyone's doing you know, documentation, everybody's doing test planning. But when you get into a big company like say EA or Ubisoft, where you might actually have a hundred testers or more going on a product at a time, then you have people that are there to operationally manage that the team's being allocated well. You have people to develop test plans. You have people that are talking to design and saying, I need it by this deadline. And there's a lot more operational and management kind of built in there as well. And more specialization. Because you may have people that are just executing tests and people that are just writing tests as a way to help do that. The comparisons, that's quality assurance and testing. Is there also any difference between like quality assurance and quality control, which is commonly known as QC? Yeah, I, I've kind of struggled with that question because I think quality assurance is, they're fundamentally the same thing, right? They're both trying to achieve quality, but I feel that Quality control tends to take the assumption that you can perfect something. It can reach 100% quality, whereas quality assurance is about trying to push it up as high as it can go. Um, so it's more of like, do you look at this more as art or do you look at this more like manufacturing food, right? There are very few perfect games out there, though, which is, I think, why people tend to use assurance these days. <laughs> 